that what more Sri Lanka's 1996 World Cup winning coach is here with me and we just can't get enough of this raging controversy. Now, there are conspiracy theorists, especially in, in the age we live in, the age of social media. They say, the, did the Bangladesh Cricket Board pull Shakib, uh, Shakib Al Hassan out after that huge controversy? The timing is a bit suspect. I think so. Um, I didn't see any discomfort in his little finger. He, um, he got through the match all right. He batted beautifully. It didn't seem to uh, you know, hinder him in any way. Uh, and I was extremely surprised to hear that, uh, that news today. Okay, so you surprised? Yeah, very much. Okay, let's go back to the game. Some fiery words used by Angelo Matthews. We just heard him mm. on, on the broadcast. Uh, he's also going on a social media spree to present his side of the story. And he's also presenting evidence which he says put him there. Uh, in time, mm. before that two-minute mark, Shakib saying that this is war and he was entitled within the rules to appeal for timed out. But what Angela Matthews also importantly said, he said, where was the common sense? Well, that's the other thing I was going to mention. That, you, know, that you talk about taking spirit of cricket out of the game. I think they've got to put something else in the game, common sense. The guy was there. They was ready to face. It's just that he had a you know, a malfunction of his, of his helmet strap. He was ready to go, taking strike. And he did what any normal person would do, call for a helmet, you know. Mm. I, just, I just shake my head, really. That was so uh, you know, avoidable. It was just ridiculous what happened. Okay, that leads me to my next question. Is the spirit of cricket now history? Because I, I read that respect is integral to the sport of cricket in no other sport, perhaps. Is it, is it part of the laws? And uh, we saw at the end as well that the Lankans didn't, hit, didn't shake hands with the Bangladesh players at the end of that game. I was surprised I was sitting out there mm. in, in that stadium. That itself is a breach of the spirit of cricket. It is. That's wrong. That, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. And that was not on. Um, whatever happens in a certain incident, then you, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. You know, there's some, all, some very good, good guys in that Bangladeshi team. And you, whatever it is, you played a game of cricket, you've lost it, shake hands. Okay, we are seeing past instances of the spirit of cricket, the good, the bad. This obviously is that underarm ball which was bowled by Trevor Chappell. Uh, On instruction at, from his brother. Of his elder brother, <laughs> Greg Chappell. And Ian Chappell, the eldest brother, was, was doing commentary as well. But the question is, you know, 140, 150 years ago when this came the laws of the sport came around. We are now in 2023 where, as, as I said, winning is all that matters. Is mm. the spirit of cricket relevant today? As we see seeing instances, ultimately teams want to win. And that can lead to, say, ball tampering, even match fixing, teams having a go at each other, sandpaper gate, the Johnny Besto in incident at, at the Ashes. Very sad to say that it appears not. It appears it is diminishing. The sportsmanship that, uh, that was apparent in nearly you know, all the years that, that we've seen and I played, it's diminishing. And the, the, the need to win, the need to take pressure off. The Bangladeshi team was under enormous pressure from their home board, from their home supporters. But he said that, right? It was war. It, it was, was one, yeah. that's why I didn't reverse my decision. Yeah. That is common sense, right? We remember when this incident, Ian Bell, when Mahindra Singh Dhoni called him back, uh, in that test match in 2011 and there have been other instances yeah. as well where common sense applies. Absolutely. I've seen many games when batsmen are late coming in. Matthews was not late. He was there ready to take guard within the two minutes. This is nonsense what's happened. The more I think of it, it is absolute nonsense. Um, I've seen plenty of other instances where batsmen have been well over two or three minutes coming in and you know we were sort of wondering where are you what are you doing just get on with the game you know but sadly the sportsmanship uh, is diminishing also just a quick one tail enders years ago if you were hung around or if you hit a couple of runs then they'd go for you and try and get you bowl you a bouncer now straight away you get a bouncer if yeah. you can't handle a bat bad luck you know they want to knock you out Mudalitharan, magnificent spinner, but he, they wanted to knock his finger, break his fingers so he can't bowl at you. Horrible sportsmanship. Okay, so my final question, and this is something I brought up last night when we were uh, talking at the end of that game, is that are the laws of cricket now a detriment 
to the spirit of cricket because you know it was said oh you don't run out the non striker when he's backing up too far but it's now a legitimate mode of dismissal mm. what did shakib say he said i asked the umpire they said yes he can be out so he's out is is that now something the mcc need, need to work out that if if you want to uphold the spirit of cricket then get rid of those laws which say you're out yeah, you got to take away spirit of cricket it's not it's not happening sadly it's very sad that uh, the game has changed uh, to a point where you know winning and losing is the el the ultimate um it's not to say it wasn't the ultimate years gone by but it was done with a spirit of sportsmanship i don't think that's happening these days it's sad very sad yeah okay